Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet lesson about our tops. Yesterday I showed you an update of some of the printed tops. Today I'm going to show you some cool ideas for how you can make yours cooler than everybody else's. So, let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, so if you missed the earlier lessons, I will have links up here on the info button so that you can get to those if you want. Uh, if you're doing this and you already have one, I recommend you duplicate a top that you already built and then just disassemble it as you make a new one. So when I ungroup it, I'm going to get rid of all of these pieces by hitting delete. And then I'm going to carefully just touch these circles or tubes and delete them so I'm back to a post. I'm going to take my post up to size 30 just because I'm trying something different. And I want to explore a new place. I'm going to go to featured and I'm going to find this awesome spring to do that cutting so that the little tube that I have actually wraps around. If we look at this from the top, you can see that right now I am way too large to actually cut into my post. I'm going to click fit view so I got a better look at how to get them centered. When I click this, if I make radius 2, uh, 6, and press enter, that'll give it a second to shrink into that spot. And now I am touching like I would want it to. I need it to go up a little taller though. So I'm going to change the rotations to 4, so that way it's plenty high. That's looking sweet. And then I'm going to hit D to drop it so that it comes all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to turn it into a hole. I'm going to center them one more time. And remember when I do the center, I like to look at it from a corner. So I can see that that one already is centered. And I'm going to hit this one and center it. And now when I group that, I have got a crazy wicked cool design for the post on my top. All because I took the time to search through the featured shapes and find what was cool there. There are also amazing shapes that you can use in the all shapes. Just make sure that you scroll down and look at all the different tabs to find the cool pieces that you can use. I'm going to go all the way out to number 6 where I find the ogive and the drill, the flattened cylinder. I'm going to use this ogive for my point and I'm going to put it right here for a moment. See, it's got lots of cool things that I can adjust. For the circle part, I'm going to give it many, many sides or segments, so that way it's got a smoother shape. I'm going to quickly go back to the basic shapes. I'm going to set my work plane to this flat piece again, and I'm going to bring out the traditional cone, just because I like that system so much. I'm going to change its base radius to 3. That way it'll match exactly up with my other part. And I'm going to do my top radius of 15, so it's going to be quite wide. I'm going to look at it from a corner view. I don't want it to be that tall, so I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to go with 10. I'm going to take the ogive, and I'm going to drop it right here by pressing work plane, clicking this spot, and then doing D to drop it to that height. And then I'm going to grab those three items and I'm going to center them in all these directions. So it's easier to see, I'm gonna put the work plane back to the bottom by pressing W, clicking work plane, looking at it from my angle, grabbing them, and doing the center and the center so they're all lined up. Now I never print tops this large, so I'm gonna shrink this down to a area where I would do it, and that I believe is possible. We can check quick by selecting the entire top and see it's under 70. That gives you a good chance of me see, saying that that is an acceptable print. I want to cut out some cool stars on this though, so watch this trick. I'm going to go to the star. I'm going to bring it out on this work plane, so I'm going to hit W for work plane. I'm going to put it on top of my design. I'm going to hold shift and make it small enough that I can put four of them on top of this look at it from the top. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to just use the arrow keys to move its partner across. Press W for the old work plane. All right, before I do my stars, I want to group this. So I'm going to real quickly hide both of my stars I just made, select the rest of my top and I'm going to group it so it's one piece because I've got it all beautiful and centered. Then use the light bulb to bring those back. And now when I grab the entire apparatus, I can hit center and since I lined them up this way, now my stars are in the middle. I'm going to select both of them by holding shift, doing control D, and I'm going to rotate them across, 
Remember, if you stay close to the shape, you can use the large tick marks so it lines up. I could leave these nice and puffy outside my top, but I want to cut them out. So I'm going to click on all four of them. Turn them into holes. I'm going to stretch them taller. And I'm going to push them all the way through. Let's look at it from the side so we can see that they're going to have corners all the way around. Looks like they are. And I'm going to hit group and check out my crazy top that I just made. So I'm just showing you all the cool options. Do I know if this is going to be an amazing top? No, I don't. But the only way to find out is to create them and test them. There are so many pieces and parts here to check, my friends. I've only shown you a tiny bit of what is possible in the all shapes. Uh, make sure you get all the way out to the end of them. Uh, there are just more and more crazy cool pieces that you can build tops with. You just need to track them down and see what they can make. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and all the cool things that you can possibly make. If you did, please hit that like button. If you make something awesome, you can use the share over IM to generate a link so that I can actually see your cool design and possibly print it. If you've got a question or a comment, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.